The talks between Boeing and its machinists union, that started on Friday and it went straight into the weekend. The union claimed on social media that Boeing, quote, wouldn't engage substantially on issues like higher pay or restoring benefit pension that was cut a decade ago. Boeing was offering what they called their best and final offer. It would give workers a general 30 percent wage increase over the next four years. The union, however, was demanding at least a 40 percent raise before the strike had even started. This along with the return of their pension plan. Most recently, Washington lawmakers were joining striking workers on the lines, showing their support for employees demanding more. No matter what the end result is on a contract, a fair contract has to recognize that the women and men who work on the line have really been carrying the company over the last five or six years. It's critically important that we have a, a contract that's fair, that's, um, that the workers deserve, and that builds Boeing to be strong long into the future. Federal mediators were there for the negotiations. Boeing's offer would also bring back performance bonuses and a 401k match by the company. However, workers are still pushing for a 40% wage increase at the least. Now, both sides do say that they are willing to meet again for further talks, but again, there is nothing on the calendar as of yet. And workers are receiving debit cards with what is called striker's pay to help these workers who are still striking in their third week now. Again, Again, the strike does consist of this union with more than 33,000 machinists and factory workers. In Everett, I'm Mickey Torres, Fox 13 News.